what's up everybody and welcome back to king's cubed so um uh we are back here in starship evo back on my poof my cat man on my poof um uh <laughs> um we're sitting on a custom station that i built um for reviewing smaller ships that i can land on platforms and stuff so um it's a really quick kind of quick build i based it off of some of the stuff that we built back in the past on star um, in star made um it's just kind of a platform station basically um but it's kind of fun and i enjoyed um uh building it um i was doing it to try to test out the new station spawning system which it actually worked pretty good um uh, i might do a video on that later um but anyway for this um uh particular video though something came out today um uh, something someone released a ship today that i really just i had to review so um uh we're going to go ahead and move on over to that guy right now um and that is the millennium falcon so if you've been following Starship Evo for a while, uh, back when it was called Star, or back when it was called um, uh, Sky Wanderers, you will remember someone built um, uh, the uh, someone built the Millennium Falcon back in the day, and it was very good. Um, it was it was extremely good actually. Um, I don't remember exactly what guy's name was that built that one um uh i don't think it's the same guy that built this one um but uh the uh the guy that built this one's name is overcome druid um uh and um let's see so look and see um yeah so this is the the latest version of this is the latest version of the uh, Millennium Falcon um, and it is really freaking good um, so we're gonna go we're gonna run right over here and take a closer look at this thing but I mean just from looking at it from right here this thing looks like a freaking model like an actual like model not like something you would find in a block game this is Thing is just absolutely amazing looking um uh, and running around it it's just like <laughs> it's it's so cool looking every single bit of this ship is detailed out to the absolute it's just absolutely perfect all the way down to the landing gear and how the landing gear comes out course we've got some uh some of the the piston glitching going on i hate that glitch i wish eventually it'll get fixed um but <laughs> it's an annoying glitch um but i mean everything down to the freaking carving scoring and blaster marks <laughs> everything um you got like up here on top of the ship um it's just the detail is absolutely insane um, for those who are clipping purists, I believe there is a little bit of clipping going on here. Um, but it's not to the point of annoyance. But, and to be honest, I don't exactly know how to manage to pull it off myself. Um, because as far as I know, the clipping method is kind of a in the past thing. Um, so I don't know how he managed to do that. Whether he did it before the clipping was taken out or if he did it after or i don't know so but it, this is absolutely insane everything like just even the blaster marks and everything it's so beautiful i'll just turn on my light here to give you some more detail here but like this is it's so good every little every single inch of this thing is perfectly detailed like honestly if you showed me an image of this of this just a picture of it 
and didn't tell me that it came from a block-based building game, I would have told you it was a 3D model. You know, not exactly the most amazing 3D model in the universe, but, you know, a 3D model nonetheless. I would not have guessed, even come close to guessing, that it was built in a block game. <laughs> so, it's just, it's just so good. Um, but the exterior, it doesn't stop at the exterior. So we're going to go on the inside now. Um, uh, I believe it's one of these. Go ahead and turn back on our hood here. I believe it is that button. Yeah. So we have the, the ramp is amazing. Um, uh, we'll go up into... We have the interior here is just spot on. We can actually turn off our light now inside. And of course it closes. It's, it's gosh, it, it's so good. And it actually does. He actually has gone to length and tried to not make it clip as much as he could. Um, in certain situations which is very cool that he's actually gone to that length to try to keep it from doing that but I mean it's just the detail I mean you have situations like this that's kind of unavoidable but um, uh, it's just so good um, you have this thing here which unfortunately is a little bit too short for the character to get in can't really fit in it, but it's okay. Um, uh, that's what F5 mode's for, right? Um, <laughs> uh, probably instead of using a poof as your raising system, I would have probably used like maybe one of the flat, one of the flat platforms maybe instead. Maybe what he's he was maybe you're supposed to sit in it first. And then press the button, maybe. And then, like, get out of the seat, maybe. I'm assuming. Oh, but then that kind of gets you stuck, doesn't it? And then press the button. Oh, yeah, I guess it technically does work, sort of. But then you still get stuck, so, you know, I don't know. I would have probably done it a different way. But anyway, um, just kind of nitpicking there, I guess. Um, this is kind of cool. This is supposed to be like the the uh, little area where Han and Leia have their their makeout scene. This is kind of cool. Um, and then you have the bedroom in here, complete with a toilet. <laughs> scene from uh, Return of the, or Empire Strikes Back when uh, Leia brings Luke in to help him. Um, and of course you have the engine room which is very highly detailed. It's got everything in here. Um, and you have a little computer bay here. It has a bunch of buttons that you can press. I don't know what they all do. But then of course you have this. This raises up. I don't ever remember that being the case for the Millennium Falcon. I could have sworn that it was just a single hallway that went out to it. But you know, I mean, maybe he he it was unavoidable for him to do that. I don't know. But and then of course we have the cockpit. famous hyperdrive um but he he's done a really good job at modeling this this room here it's so good you got all the buttons even the, the not real buttons <laughs> um i actually think this is pretty cool like the the sticker work is just brilliant just brilliant um uh 
you do have to be really careful when moving around in this ship because there are hinges everywhere and if you're f button happy you might accidentally get one of the hinges to go the wrong way or do something stupid um but anyway um, uh, there's a lot of buttons here and you have to be careful you press because you don't know what they're gonna do oh man So, but uh, I don't know if he he doesn't have the panels on the floor I don't think so that would have been freaking cool um, so but anyway we'll go ahead and give this thing a fly around really quick oh it does have functional turrets by the way uh, these turrets work. You can get them in. You can get in their seats, in the seats, and actually uh, and actually use them. They're not AI. I don't think they're AI slaves, so they you may have to actually have people operating them. Um, but you got two passenger jump seats here. You have a co-pilot chair, and then of course the pilot. So you can have at least four up front, two in the turrets and then you've got like one two three four five six seven seats eight seats in here i believe there's another chair in here no that's just decoration um so yeah you you can you can easily fit um Eight here and another four in the front. Plus two. Yeah, you can easily fit quite a lot of people in this in this ship. Um visibility outside of the cockpit is not the greatest in the universe, unfortunately. So flying this ship does require you go into f4 mode um we're gonna go ahead and dock and fly away now we'll hope i'm gonna try to use the landing gear here um last time i tried to use it it got a little bit stuck so but uh Awesome! Oh, it's it, uh, it almost worked. The, uh, the two back doors tend to be a little bit on the fickle side, but oh well. Um, it is absolutely beautiful ship. I give them some major. I mean, I give the guys some major props for this, this the build of this ship. I can't actually believe how freaking amazing it is and it flies really well too it, it, it i would say it goes about as fast as the actual falcon is supposed to go we get it up to cruising speed and get up to a good you get up to a good 140 150 for you know i mean a freighter that's that's pretty good Especially for something with as many childhood diseases as this ship has. Like, that's it's just insane how many childhood diseases this thing has. Um, uh, this is, to be honest, of all the builds that I have seen in this game, I think this is probably the, have the most detailed build I have ever seen in this game. It literally looks like a a model, like a Star Wars model. Like I don't, when I'm playing when I'm playing with this ship, I almost forget that I'm playing Starship Evo. <laughs> it literally looks like I'm playing like a, a Star Wars game. <laughs> I mean, it's not as obviously not as highly detailed as say like. 
uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 or something like that or um, uh, Squadrons or something but it's it's still amazing looking. so um, I really I would love to know how he managed to pull off some of the design features of this of this build like I look at it and I'm like that is brilliant the insane amount of hinges on this ship um, probably speaks a lot to how it was designed and how he managed to make it happen um, but it's just it is freaking amazing but anyway um, so guys um, I definitely recommend this to anybody wanting to just have one of the best looking Star Wars ships in the game um, uh, definitely download this thing give it a try um, if you struggle with the game already graphically then I might not recommend um, uh, I might not recommend it just because of the fact that it's got a lot of child entities on it and it might lag the game a little bit. Um, it doesn't, it, lo it loads in nice and quick. It's just, that's just a testament to um, op optimizations that Francois made to the game. The fact that he can load in this ship really quick, which is good, because that means that um, uh, later on um, when we're he's going to be having ships just randomly spawning around in the universe um, uh, ships like this aren't going to affect performance that much um, which is great um, but uh, hey <laughs> I mean the fact that we have this sh this kind of shenanigans this kind of ship and it, the game still runs perfectly, and um, uh, I mean, I don't have any frame drops practically. <laughs> it just goes to show that this game is is amazing. <laughs> this is the best looking block based building ship I've ever seen. This is the best block build I've ever seen. I can't. I can't lie. It's just, it really is. It's the best I've ever seen. Um, but anyway, guys, um, uh, tell me what you guys think of the Millennium Falcon um, uh, in the comments below. Um, definitely go check this thing out. I'm going to put the uh, the link for this thing in the, de in the description. Um, go check this thing out. Go give it a playthrough. If you don't have Starship Evo, definitely go check the game out. This game is absolutely amazing. Um, uh, I can't not recommend this game enough to people who love building space um, uh, ships in space games and stuff. Because the fact that you can build this just emphasizes enough. Like that right here is enough said basically um you don't need any more proof that this game is perfect for um uh this game is perfect for building ships basically like right now i'm kind of working or starting to work on building another star trek ship which i still don't know what i'm going to do with I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, uh, this build, though, gives me faith in the fact that I could probably pull it off. So, um, uh, I'm looking forward to trying to test out some theories and see if I can't pull it off. But, um, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, definitely go check this ship out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now. Thank you.